Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So guys, I had the pleasure in playing in the OnePlus slash Google Play uh, $50,000 Brawl Stars tournament. I was privileged enough to be chosen as a content creator, so just big shout out to them for allowing me to partake in their event. It was a ton of fun and uh, my team, we did pretty decent. So I was with the Avengers and uh, my teammate, Bobby BS was also another content creator and uh, yeah he made it to the finals and so did I so this is the first time in like three plus years that we played against each other in a tournament with like money on the line like serious money on the line so it was pretty competitive for uh, me at least I think he was obviously like we're both really competitive we both want to beat each other like we have like you know we have like our little trash talk to each other and stuff so i was pretty determined to win this one and it was a really good match so we're gonna be going over the games but uh yeah just before we get into the game guys i just want to give a big shout out to oneplus and google play for sponsoring today's video so they actually gave me the new oneplus 10t device to play on in the tournament it's a really great device definitely the best phone i've ever played on it allows you to have really smooth gameplay and i had like no complaints during my time playing on it so i'm very happy and very grateful that oneplus and google gave me the opportunity to do this so just big shout out to them again there are three stages for the oneplus slash google play tournament uh there was open qualifiers there was group play and then finals and like i said previously the total price was fifty thousand dollars and some sweet oneplus merch so guys if you want to watch the total of the tournament i suggest you do i have a video on it from my point of view but i'll also link uh the official oneplus stream in the comments down below so some things that i really liked about using this device in the tournament is it has an insanely fast charging time so it's 125 watts wired charging in North America, and it can charge from one to 100% in 20 minutes. So I am a very forgetful person. I literally, before this video, my OnePlus was dead. I charged it for like five minutes. It's at like literally like 50%. So yeah, it's really useful for people like me. And I also really enjoy the 3D cooling system. Uh, a lot of phones that I've played on before have overheated and stuff while I play and the game starts getting choppy. I had no issues with that with my OnePlus 10T. So I think they did a really great job with that as well. It also has a 360 degree antenna system fitted with 15 antennas that together form a 360 antenna system that is just really good for Wi-Fi and uh, signal overall. And I don't have the best uh, Wi-Fi, so I'm like renting out a basement right now. And I cannot play on my iPad on Wi-Fi, but I can on my OnePlus. So I can definitely notice a difference. And uh, yeah, they did a really great job with that. And of course, it does have 120 FPS, which is a necessity for Brawl Stars if you want to play at a competitive level, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, just once again, big shout out to OnePlus and Google Play for sponsoring this video and for letting me play in their tournament. It was a really fun tournament and I enjoyed it a lot. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, I am playing against my literally my competitive team for a chance at $50,000. So this is the finals. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going over the game. So it was best of five. And uh, yeah, so you can see I'm playing against Bobby right now. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Used to play beside him for a very long time now, but it's fun playing against him too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and yeah, so one issue is I like showing you guys my competitive games. And I always, it's always been my favorite, just going over comp matches, trying to like, tell you guys what's going on from my point of view, etc. But it does take a little too long, especially with like best of five, best of three, and like draft and everything. So I'm just gonna be going over like one game uh, per map. So you can see we're off to a really bad start. I think we had some bad deaths early on, but Luffy's gonna hit a really nice curve there. And I'm gonna take out Zar, and just like that, we're back in the game. So this map is all about control. So you really want to like just hold down the mid. Unfortunately, they did get traps set up. So Bell is really good for uh, playing against comps that want to push into them. So I'm going to be one. I'm just going to fire a few shots to stay alive in the corner. I'm going to walk towards Gene to get that passive healing. And I'm going to try switching on to Zar because Brock is pretty decent into Penny. So 30 seconds left and we're fighting our way up the map. I'm pushing Zar back slowly and... 
Yeah, we got them all on one side, not set up as good as they were before. Luffy's going to hit such a good curve there, and uh, he's going to get away 88 HP. Sans misses a few shots on them, so that's going to bail us out a bit. And uh, we're getting pinched back, so it's kind of a sketchy pull there, and they just get a kill at the end, but uh, we got Zara in the corner. We need to kill him. One second left, and the Gene is going to hit a shot on him, and we will take that one. So we ended up winning... Uh, that set uh two to one so we're up one nothing all right guys so this is map number two and it's gonna be center stage i think it's called uh it's on comp anymore so uh yeah they're up one nothing right now the last one uh was not like very close they're kind of running us over on this map so one thing that like there's a showdown to pick what team you get at the start and bobby got first in it and uh, I got six in it, so he got to pick a team before the other eight content creators did. And I got to pick uh, like six, I guess. But I got a pretty good team for six. Like these guys are all good. Uh, the only issue I had with this team was uh, they are Spanish. Well, they're not Spanish, but they speak Spanish. So there was a bit of communication issues, I think. Uh, we couldn't really like yell for pinches and stuff properly and i think that one we felt on this map a lot and we are gonna lose them all right guys so it is 1-1 one, one, uh in the total score right now and uh my team well stamina is up one nothing against us uh on safe zone so we had a pretty rough first game and the draft also we have a weird draft like max eve is pretty weird uh it's kind of like communication issue like we were all like unsure of what to go. I didn't want to pick something that like they didn't want me to go. So because we were all in BC, and uh, yeah, communication was a little like difficult. But luckily, we're all pretty good at the game, so we can make everything work if we play it properly. But uh, yeah, I definitely prefer their comp to ours. Uh, just looking at it right now, and uh, nice kill from Killer. He's gonna push up there. So we did last pick Carl. We first, or they first picked Brock, which is. Probably the best brawler on this map. We had miscommunication on bands, I think. Um, and yeah, so they are going to have a really strong comp and they have a lot of damage potential. So we got to play it like pretty much perfectly if we want to win. Uh, so nice speed from Luffy there. I'm trying to take Zara down, but Zara gets a really nice super on Luffy there as well. And I got to go back because Bobby's just going on safe. I jump just so I can stay up because I see a Brock coming like... It's like really bad if Brock's undefended. He can just free fire on safe and just like tear it apart. So uh, yeah, my E babies are gonna make him waste all his ammo. I think one of them even connected. And yeah, Eve's really good on this map because if you don't have a wall break, I think it's very strong uh, just because you can go over the water, right? So I'm gonna jump over and get Sans one shot. Nice pinch from Luffy there. Uh, and Luffy was honestly probably my favorite one to play with just because his English was really good and he was like they're all were playing pretty good and like obviously everyone had like misplays and stuff like that but he he was just uh he's a cool guy I'm not saying that the others aren't I like all of them but uh i enjoyed playing with luffy the most probably so we do have a pretty commanding lead here but we all die and uh brock is gonna get some shots off bonnie has super so as long as we don't fold too hard we should win here but zara's hitting some good shots on me i'm out of jumps as well so Bobby's going to get on safe and I'm trying to get Sans out. We're trying to body block and it's really close. They almost uh, actually bring that one back, but we are going to win that one and we'll go on to win the next game as well. So we're up 2-1 right now. All right, guys. So next up we have Hard Rock Mine. Now you can see at the top it's 1-1 on the set. So it's match point for us if we win this right now. We do beat my team. Um, and yeah, so with the draft for this one... Uh, we first no they first picked griff i think or janet and then we went rico 8-bit they went gus janet or griff and then we picked ash last so i wanted to go otis last um even though killer is a really good ash i think it's just a really hard matchup for him and uh you can see it, he kind of like it's pretty hard for him to do anything once the map gets opened up so 8-bit is not a very fun brawler as well when you're 
like spawn trap but we are going to take out czar there he gets a little too aggro and uh yeah the rats aren't going to get too much value there but bobby's going to gadget me so i got to go back but uh killer kind of whiffs some shots on czar down there and he's going to fly and uh yeah unfortunately i think if he gets that kill it's really good for us but uh yeah, he didn't end up getting it, and he's going to get taken out, but Luffy gets a really good super. Luffy played really well on Rico as well, and uh, yeah, he's just being aggro. Bobby's going to take him out. I'm fine with that. Like, I just get the gems, and uh, I'm just going to TP back. So my turret was a little off there, um, but I'm just going to cycle them at this point. So I'm going to get a nice kill there on Zar. And we have to play really aggro. It's just a little hard when, like I said, the map's open and playing like Griff into or Ash into Griff. So he's just going to walk up and just kind of get tapped and feed them supers. And uh, yeah, it's a hard game for Ash. That's why I wanted to go Otis. But um, me and Luffy are doing pretty good right now. We actually came back from like a nine gem deficit or eight gem or something like that. He got a really good Rico super. It just kind of started that. But uh yeah sans is gonna be one shot and luffy's gonna get a nice bounce there and uh yeah we can actually get countdown here and we do unfortunately killer gets like six tapped by bobby there or something and we're gonna lose all our control so i know if i don't kill sans here i'm pretty sure we lose the game but he's gonna just griff super and uh yeah i think he could, killer could have gone over there and hit him but uh yeah, I don't know. I think the Ash was just really hard to play into this, but uh, fortunately we are going to lose. And uh, yeah, that one kind of sucks to lose because I think we could have won very easily if we went something else. All right, guys, so this is the final map for them. They are, or for us, they are on match point and it's open zone. I think uh, they have a really good comp. I think our comp's not bad and we can win. Uh, I think the Amber is just really good and so is the Lou here. But I think Squeak's also really strong, and I think Max and Lola, you can kind of make those work, like, most of the time. So, uh, my teammates are going to hit some really good shots there, and uh, I'm, like, so the side that Frixie's on with all the grass is typically looked at as the strong side. So, uh, because you can be sneaky with all the grass, right? So, I'm just trying to hold Zar back and slowly build up my super. So, he's going to fly in there, and I noticed that's, like, a good opportunity. Frixie's going to get a really good kill, too, for me to just move up and pinch Sands. Uh... So you kind of have to trade like aggression sometimes uh, just for like control on the map. So I am going to just gadget Sans. Unfortunately, he will hit a really good shot on me, but I want to go finish the kill. So he already has his super, so I don't mind getting hit by too much other stuff. And uh, I'm just going to trade with him. So his super, it does get like, actually, we're just going to stay in mid, but it's kind of not like he doesn't get a lot of value. He doesn't get to chain supers because he didn't get any hits after that because I killed him right after. But uh yeah, so we're off to a really good start here, but unfortunately we are going to get team wiped and they're all really low. Sans is 300 HP, Bobby was like 1k as well, Zara was like half or something. So it's really hard uh, getting control back against Alu and uh, Amber. So yeah, <laughs> you can just see like, this is what I mean about like cycling Lu supers, like you just uh, throw it on top of them, pop the gadget, hit like two shots with the new Lou gear, which is very broken, and uh, it's very hard to get out of. So I'm just going to chuck my super out. It will hit Sans, but there's not really any follow-up on my side. There's like a Lou super. I can't go to their side because if he gets a Lou super, we're all on the same side, which is kind of over. But uh, yeah, I think this one was a little bit of a draft diff. Uh, I think they did a really good job drafting on this one. And unfortunately, I am going to lose to my teammates. Um, but, you know, I had a lot of fun in this tournament. And I think, uh, like, me and Bobby, we were definitely, like, the two pros among the content creators. So we had high expectations. But I think, like, given the circumstances, like, I did pretty good. And so did my team. So I'm happy with it. Like, again, Bobby got, like, first pick. <laughs> I got six pick and Avengers, they're a really great team and stuff. I think the language just kind of made everything a bit harder and uh, yeah. But anyways, I'm really happy with uh, how we played and uh, obviously it sucks to lose, but I'm just happy I got to be a part of the tournament. So once again, big shout out to OnePlus and Google Play for hosting and uh, giving me this awesome, let me find it, this awesome 
10 t to play the tournament on you can see me and bobby we were playing pretty good i think so you guys can tell from the gameplay itself that uh the phone is definitely the real deal so make sure you guys go check it out yeah guys just uh wanted to say thank you for watching the video and i'll post another one soon peace